Hey guys, I have a Discord server. You guys should totally join our community. I'm also really active on Twitch as well as social media, like Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. If you guys want to follow me and stay up to date with everything, check out all the links in the description down below. And I guess enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Turbo here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're back on CSGO and today I'm going to show you guys how to get the best CSGO config possible. This is going to be very simple. It's going to be very straightforward. So you guys won't have to worry about anything. We'll be checking out a couple different maps and I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you guys want to subscribe to the maps, they are extremely easy to use. So uh, today I'll show you guys how to get a custom crosshair. I'll teach you how I'll teach you how to get a custom like config, change your mini map size. You can change like your gun position. There's actually a lot you can do to make your you know to make your CS:GO unique to you. And uh, obviously you just have to pick whatever you personally like. I mean you might be totally fine with the default like you know crosshair and the default config, but honestly like mixing it up can make you play better. It's not like it gives you an advantage in game. It just kind of like boost your confidence, I guess. I, I don't really know. It, it's kind of hard to explain. So the first map we're going to go over is Crash's Crosshair Generator. This is actually a really popular map. I'm assuming that a lot of you guys already know about a few of these maps, but hopefully you learned something new. Like hopefully you learn at least one new thing today. Obviously, one of the most important things about your CSGO config is your crosshair. Like in my opinion, I think it's really good to have a crosshair that suits you. Like you got to, you need to find a crosshair that you personally like that you play better with. The default crosshair is not really that great. Like I think, is this the default? I don't even know. So this map has a bunch of different custom crosshairs from different pro, pl pro players around the world. Obviously, it all comes down to personal preference. You just got to find out which one you personally like the most and just and just stick with it. Honestly, I might actually go with Simple's crosshair because I actually, <laughs> honestly, I actually like it. So on top of all these crosshairs, there's there's crosshairs from pro players as well as there's uh, crosshairs from YouTubers, streamers, just influencers in general. Like you got Summit. And of course, a little 1G pops up in the chat when you pick summits. Yeah, but there's anomalies, crosshair, there's like all these people. Even Nade King has his own one. And then here's, this is Shroud's new crosshair. And then there's also a bunch of like really stupid crosshairs like this one and then <laughs> this one. Uh, this crosshair is actually quite reasonable. Like the thing about this crosshair is at least there's like, you know, there's like a little like cross in the middle where, you know, where you know exactly where to shoot. So it's actually a pretty, pretty decent crosshair. But I think honest, honestly, for now, I'm going to stick with Simple's crosshair because personally, what I'm looking for in a crosshair is I'm looking for a little, you know, little T pose or whatever, like with a dot in the middle. Because the thing is with a regular crosshair without the dot in the middle, it's actually really difficult to shoot people from long distances because there's a lot of guesswork involved. When you have a dot, you know exactly where to shoot. If we use this crosshair, obviously we know we have to shoot there, but like where exactly? You have to kind of like approximate and I think it takes a little bit, like in my opinion, for me personally, it actually takes more time to figure out like where's the center or whatever compared to like if you just have a crosshair like simples where there's just simply a dot like you don't even have to really think about it you just put the dot on his head shoot so that's what i personally prefer but obviously it all comes down to personal preference like you might prefer a different kind of crosshair so that's how to get the perfect crosshair in csgo let's move on to the next part of the video the view model next up is crash's view model generator and this is another map made by crash obviously <laughs> for basically coming up with your own custom uh view model basically and uh, there is another map that we are going to be looking at that does have a very similar system to this where it also does have, you know, a little view model generator. But I personally prefer this one just because it's so easy to use. This is just really easy to use. There's a couple presets. There's like some very simple to use controls. So you, you can obviously do whatever you want. Like you can you can literally do that if you wanted. If you wanted to play CSGO using this like view model, you could do that. And then with, oh my god, it's like we're almost aiming down sights. Oh my god, if it was just a little bit more, <laughs> we could literally pay CSGO aiming down the sights. That would actually be hilarious. Oh god, <laughs> the op looks so weird like this. Honestly, if you play CSGO like this with this kind of view model, I commend you. Like, this is actually, like, it's actually such a badass view model. With the Glock, you're almost aiming down sights. What about the Deagle? Oh my god, <laughs> the Deagle is just right there. Um, but personally, what I do is, I use M7's uh, preset view model. And then I literally just put the, I usually change the FOV to the maximum. And then um, as for view model movement, I put it on the lowest because I don't want the gun moving around when I'm like moving around and stuff. And this is just what I personally like. Obviously, you know, you might have a different preference. So just hop on this map, experiment, see what you like the most. Also with this, I can actually see more of the guns. Like with this view model, well, obviously you can't really see the Medusa head, but yeah, 
like I, I just personally like this view model and it's just what I've used for a really long time and it's just it's nice crashes view model configurator thing whatever all right now let's hop on the last map and the final map we're going to be going over is config generator made by crash and mysterio so this is a this is another config generator obviously it has all the same features of the last two maps but it's like an all-in-one kind of thing in my opinion though i still think it's better to use those other two maps to come up with your own crosshair and like your own view model and stuff just because they're easier to use and they're just more they're just more friendly basically there's presets you obviously could use this map for all that but i don't know it's not the same all right so we're only going to be focusing on the hud radar and then uh, a few other things as well so first of all the hud you can basically tailor the hud to whatever you like it's just it, like it all comes under per personal preference if you kind of like you know if you like green you can make everything green but i personally like red i don't know it just makes it more unique but you know what i should do i should try blue for you know what actually let's switch it over to blue that actually looks pretty nice like especially with like the crabbit and stuff with the blue gem like just it's <laughs> so much blue and then as for the radar this is another really big part of this map this map can help you fully customize the radar to make it perfect for you so it actually has the map dust 2 right off the bat you can see like how dust 2 would look if you were actually playing on dust 2. what i personally like doing is i guess this is probably like the default or this is i don't know I don't know what the default is. The default is like super zoomed in and everything. What I like to do is I like to like make the size real as big as I can, or maybe not too big, but I like to make the size relatively big. And then I like to zoom out until we can basically see the entire map. Because what that'll do is if a teammate on the other side of the map gets into a gunfight with an enemy, you'll know where at least one enemy is. And if you see all five people, like, then you can basically know like immediately, oh shit, they're all on the B side or whatever. Like having your uh, radar like zoomed all the way out can actually be a really big advantage and it can really help with your, your game sense. You can put it on so it rotates and you can also make it centered. Like I personally, don't, I, I turn centered off just because you can see more of the radar on pretty much every part of the map. And I also turn on rotation just because it's just, I think it's just easier. The radar doesn't really follow you. It just kind of like, it kind of stays in one spot and you have to try to like work around it. When it rotates with you, like, if you see a but like if you look at the mini map and you see a bunch of people in front of you you know they're going to be in front of you and if you see them behind you you know to turn around i definitely like it when it rotates a lot better so just you know experiment ex you know just play around just see what you personally like and obviously it all comes down to what you personally enjoy the most also on this particular map they actually have a bunch of different configs for a bunch of different pro players so there's all these pro teams you can pick so let's just go to phase for example and a lot of these rosters are actually somewhat up to date this one has kiyoshima flush and golden flush left cloud nine recently so i yeah i mean well they can't really keep up with it there's also kenny s's there's shocks so for example if you really like if you watch stewie 2k streams and you really like his config you could just go to team liquid and then you can you can change which whichever ones you want. I really like how it gives you the option. You can change your resolution to their resolution, and you can also change your mouse sensitivity and all that stuff to theirs. But I think the first one, the HUD crosshair view model and radar, I think that's the most important thing. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay, so this is my custom config right here. So if you click on show my config, you can actually, like it'll actually bring up the console with your entire config. So you can actually copy and paste this if you want to save it, put it in notepad or whatever, and then if you ever have to like restart your game or whatever, or if you want to play CSGO on another computer, you just copy and paste it into the game, into the console. Boom. There you go. You got your config back. So let's save this as config number one. And boom, it is saved. So load. Perfect. So I have this config saved now on this map. So next time we hop on this map, it'll actually save our config completely. There's no specific crosshair or config or whatever that'll make you play the game better. You just got to figure out what makes you the most comfortable. Also, in terms of your sensitivity too, let's let's cover sensitivity as well. I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to get the perfect sensitivity for you. You know, just like everything else, it all depends on personal preferences. It also depends on the size of your mouse pad. If you're playing on a really tiny mouse pad, you might have to play at a higher sensitivity. But if you have a giant mouse pad that you have a lot of room to work with, like you'll always play better and it'll always be easier to aim with a lower sensitivity. What I do, I usually play on mouse sensitivity 1 at 800 DPI. That's, that's my current DPI. Also make sure you have raw input on and mouse acceleration off. When you have mouse acceleration on, it basically means like the faster you move your mouse, the, the more you'll spin. It makes it very difficult to build up muscle memory. Like when you have it off, like it's consistent. When you have mouse acceleration off, your mouse always moves at the exact same like, you know, speed. So no matter if you do like a really fast like 180 or whatever, or if you like move it slowly, it's, it's gonna be consistent. And what I usually personally do to come up with my perfect sensitivity is I hop on a map, look at one place, and then I, I put the mouse on the left side of my mouse pad, on the very left side, 
and then I do a, I do like a full, I try to do a full 180 basically. You obviously have to give yourself a little bit of extra space. Don't go from like the keyboard to the very edge of your mouse pad. Give yourself about an inch or so, but you should be able to do a perfect 180 with base like 90% of your mouse pad. And that should be the perfect sense for your mouse pad. Another big tip is never just never change your sensitivity around like because you have to build up muscle memory, it makes a lot more sense to find a sensitivity that you personally like and then just stick with it. Never change it, never mix it around, just, you know, you just need to find your perfect config and then just stick to it, basically. And I guess that's about it for the video. <laughs> hopefully it was helpful, hopefully it was useful, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe, click that bell icon, and if you watched the video all the way until the end, leave a comment saying hashtag damn turbo. My config is way better now thanks to all these new, all these crazy maps. And I'll do my best to try to give you guys a heart. And uh, I guess just overall, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. It's Turbo, and I'm out. Peace.